In this lecture, we'll take a look at the essential extensions for web development available for Visual Studio Code Editor. So, in order to install extensions, you need to click on this icon, Extensions, and then you can search for the extensions using the Search Extensions in Marketplace text box. Here, for instance, if I want to have HTML IntelliSense, so I can say HTML and press Enter. You'll see that so many extensions are available over here and you can install a JS CSS HTML formatter. So basically it will format your code. Here is the shortcut. Once you have installed it, all you need to do is press Alt Shift and F in order to format the code. Here you can see the formatting will be done. So that's one essential extension that you should install. We've already installed PHP server and PHP debugger, so we don't need open in browser HTML files. It's just available for previewing HTML files. And you can also go ahead with HTML snippets over here. This one. As you can see, this extension adds rich language support for HTML markup to Visual Studio Code. And it includes full HTML5 tags, colorization snippets, description mentions if tag is deprecated. So all those things are there. You can install this as well. Then we have jQuery. So we'll say jQuery, press enter. And this is the snippet I am talking about, jQuery code snippets. It has got around 130 jQuery code snippets. So you just have to start with jq and it will bring up the list. And you just need to press tab in order to get that particular snippet available in your code. That's kind of a trigger, jq. And you can see that so many options are available. So that's definitely going to save some time when you are doing client-side development. And in order to check for errors in your JavaScript, we can make use of JS hint. So there you go. It just integrates JS hint into Visual Studio Code. Then if you're working on some public repo or you're sharing your code via Git, you can make use of Git history and this makes it possible to follow all the changes of a Git repository. And once you have installed this, you'll be able to view the history of an entire file or you can compare previous versions of the same file as well. So that comes up handy when you're working on some public project, open source project, or you're sharing your code via GitHub. So these are the extensions that you should be having if you're working on a web development project using Visual Studio Code Editor.